Woodrow Wilson, the 28th president. Hi, I'm Kyle McCollum. I teach at Holman Middle School, and I'm very excited to talk to you about Woodrow Wilson, our 28th president. Woodrow Wilson was born in 1856 in Virginia. He attended Princeton University and received a PhD in political science and history from John Hopkins University. In Wilson's professional life, he worked as a professor, the president of Princeton University, and the governor of New Jersey before he decided to run for president in 1912. Wilson ran as a Democrat against Republican incumbent William Howard Taft. However, Taft's predecessor, Theodore Roosevelt, was unhappy with Taft's performance as president and he decided to run against him as a progressive party candidate. This situation split the Republican vote for president and allowed Woodrow Wilson to win the election with only 41% of the popular vote. Wilson was the first Southerner to win a presidential election since the Civil War. Despite being less progressive than either of the Republican nominees for president, Wilson still oversaw the American Progressive Era, which attempted to deal with some of the injustices resulting from the Industrial Revolution. Wilson created a new economic reform package, which he called New Freedom, which favored small businesses and farmers, expanded the Federal Reserve System, and supported labor unions, even allowing them to strike. Over the course of his presidency, he changed his tune on women having the right to vote, eventually supporting the women's suffrage movement and seeing the 19th Amendment ratified in 1920. Wilson famously oversaw the American response to World War I, declaring America to be neutral and he ran for re-election on the message that he kept us out of war. After slowly increasing American support to the Allied powers and the consequent German aggression, Wilson asked Congress to declare war in 1917. America was able to provide the Allies with a decisive boost of troops and supplies, and the war ended nearly a year and a half later. At the end of the war, Wilson traveled to Europe to help negotiate a peace treaty. He proposed the 14 points as a basis for the peace treaty, the final point being the creation of what he called a League of Nations to ensure future world peace. Back home, however, Wilson was unable to convince the now Republican-controlled U.S. Senate to ratify the treaty, and thus the United States never joined. Most of Wilson's 14 points were not adopted, and the peace treaty failed to prevent World War II. Wilson also had an undeniably dark series of views on race. He allowed the federal government to resegregate, literally putting up dividers in DC office spaces and forcing non-white employees to use separate bathrooms and water fountains. Wilson also allowed the White House screening of the movie Birth of a Nation, which depicts the Ku Klux Klan as heroes. Throughout his life, Wilson suffered from a series of debilitating strokes, including having an incredibly serious one while he was president. Woodrow Wilson died from one of these strokes in 1924 at the age of 67.